Hello, everyone. I am Miss Dawn. This is my friend, Miss Carol, and Dan the dog. We're here at the Michener Art Museum, where there are many kinds of art. We can see paintings, handmade furniture, crafts, and inside and outside sculptures. Today, we're going to see art outside and look at a sculpture. We're going to take my friend Dan the dog with us. Now, Dan is kind of shy, but he might have questions about things we're going to see, as you might. Now, here we go. This is our sculpture. Let's take a closer look at this sculpture. It's a really nice sculpture. Uh, what do you see? You can say three things that you see to yourself, to someone that's with you, or to Dan, when you hear a bell, it will be time to stop and listen. Now go ahead and share your ideas. You know, Miss Carol, I think the dog looks really real because I can see a tail and four legs and fur. I don't think the color looks too real. It's, it's looking somewhere. Yes, I agree. As you look at the sculpture, what else would you wonder about? I wonder if it would be really hard if you touched it. <laughs> the fur looks like it's frozen stiff. Would it feel cold since it's outside? Good questions. While the sculpture looks real, if you touch it, it's not going to feel real. The sculpture also looks lifelike because it's about the size of a real dog. Because it is a sculpture, you can walk all around it and it's not flat like a painting would be. It would absorb the coolness of the weather. So if you touch the sculpture, it's going to feel Cool. Dan just reminded me to remember the museum's rules about showing respect and not touching this sculpture or anything else in the museum. Thank you, Dan, for remembering that. Boys and girls, some of you may be friends with a dog. Thumbs up if you know a dog that looks like this one. Thumbs down if you know a dog that looks different. My dog looked like this one. It had lots of hair and the nose was just the same. Oh, Dan reminded me that my dog was a type of a dog called a collie. The no long nose is what a collie often has. That would tell us that's what a collie has. So let's take a look at the sculpture close up. Ms. Dawn, you are correct about the sculpture being a collie. Let's look at it. Here's my question to you, Ms. Dawn, and to all of our viewers. Look at the dog closely and use your imagination. If she could talk, what do you think she would say? What is she thinking? Turn and share your ideas with whoever is with you or whisper to Dan, our dog friend. Our bell will remind us to stop and listen. Dawn, what do you imagine she might say, or what do you think she's thinking? I think she might say, I don't know where I am, or how do I get home? She might say, do I see anyone who could help me? Dan thinks she might say she's hungry, or she might say, I miss my family. I miss my master. We love each other. If any of you wondered the same things 
as Miss Dawn and Dan, you are really awesome thinkers. There is a story about this dog and it talks about all of your ideas. The name of this sculpture is Lassie Come Home. Lassie was the main character in a book about a young boy who loved his dog, Lassie. And Lassie loved the boy very, very much. The dog became separated from the boy but she found her way home again with the help of many kind, nice people. The author of this book lived on a farm in Pennsylvania and actually raised collie dogs. There was even a movie about Lassie and a television show, which I remember watching as a child. Ms. Carol, Dan was wondering what materials the dog was made of. He also wanted to know how much it weighed. Good questions again, Dan. I want to tell you a couple of amazing facts about this sculpture. It took the artist four months to make her out of bronze, which is a very, very heavy metal. First, he made a small version of the sculpture in clay before he made the larger version. We can see a picture of this practice clay sculpture. There is the picture. And this practice clay sculpture is called a maquette. And it was much smaller than the larger metal sculpture that we saw before. When the finished sculpture was done, it was very, very heavy, it weighed 300 pounds. That's an amazing number. That's a lot more than a real collie like Lassie would weigh. The artist worked awfully hard on this project. And as you can see, this is an outside sculpture. We're gonna see a picture of Lassie outside. Okay, there's our Lassie. Um, the outside sculpture is located at the Bucks County, at the Doylestown branch of the Bucks County Free Library next to the Michener Art Museum. Miss Dawn, do you know who made this sculpture? Well, actually I do. It was Eric Berg, who the famous sculpture, who has really made other types of animal sculptures in the area. You may have seen Massa the gorilla or the warthog at the Philadelphia Zoo. Eric Berg loved sculpting animals. He started his love of animals when he was only seven or eight years old. When he was in school, he actually made small sculptures and he gave them as gifts to his friends and his family. That's so nice, Ms. Dawn. I wonder if any of our friends have worked hard on a project about things they liked. Turn and tell someone near you or tell Dan, the puppet. Well, one thing that Miss Carol and I have worked on very hard is painting pictures. Creating art is so nice because you can use all kinds of materials and everyone can think of something different to do. Look, here is a sculpture that is different than the Lassie sculpture we saw. Dan said this is his friend, Ralph. Yes, Miss Dawn, what you say is very true of artists. Whatever you create, it can be real or imaginary. The art can come from what you know or what you imagine. There is no right or wrong way to make art. You can choose many different materials like clay, paper, or paint. I bet our viewers have made some really terrific art projects. All the artists who have their works at the Michener Art Museum use their imagination to create their works of art. Thank all of you for joining 
Miss Carol. Ralph the sculpture and Dan the dog. As we looked at the Lassie sculpture, we hope you will all come to the Michener Art Museum to see all the art inside and outside the museum. Remember, there's activities for families and kids at the Michener Art Museum's educational website, Learn with Michener at learnmichener.org. If you would like to know more about the artist, Eric Burke, you may go to the Michener Art Museum's Bucks County Artist Database. When the museum is open, classes and programs for all ages are offered. We hope that you will join us at the Michener Art Museum. Goodbye for now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>